I'm not even supposed to be filming today, but I literally just got home from the store and I have to show y'all what I bought. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today, I have another haul. It's just going to be what it is. Y'all are going to see a lot of these. I'm still celebrating my birthday. I am back home and this is some stuff that has been sitting that I needed to film. I was just extremely busy and so I'm trying to catch up. So we're gonna have some hauls, we're gonna have some first impressions, you know, all that good stuff you guys seem to enjoy watching. So I got you. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. Hauls, tutorials, reviews, hair, nails, fitness, you name it. If it's related to beauty, it's on this channel. I won't keep you waiting, so if you want to see what I picked up in my most recent haul, we got some TJ Maxx, some Marshalls, I think that's it, but it's some good stuff. Stay tuned and keep on watching. So first we're going to start off with what I got from TJ Maxx because that is the smaller bag. I normally go in every other week or something like that and there's a Marshalls on my way home from work and then there's a TJ Maxx on my way home, on my way to the gym, whatever. So I try not to go too often. I'm also trying to only buy stuff that I'm really checking for or really wanted. So I've been doing a lot better, not just buying it because it's on sale, but some of this stuff is because I wanted to try it and it was on sale. So we're going to start off with some lashes. I don't think I remember seeing lashes like years, the first couple years ago when I started looking in TJ Maxx and Marshalls for stuff, but these are the Velour Magnetic Lash Kit. These look like a half lash. Uh, where's the style name? I don't see a style name anywhere on these, but this is what they look like and I absolutely love because I have never tried a half lash and I've wanted to, so the idea that these are magnetic kind of made me excited. So. I don't know, we're gonna see how these works, but it says strong hold magnet, no need to trim because they are a half lash. So these have been really popular. I've been seeing a lot of people wearing them. Maybe this is the name Instant Attraction. I don't know, but anyway, I've been seeing a lot of people wear these and they say that this gets 30 plus wears with one. And these were $19.99. I feel like that's kind of expensive, but you also get the glue, the magnetic glue. So maybe it's not for this brand. Next, I have the Lily Lashes. These are also magnetic. Yes, these are magnetic. These are the 3D Faux Mink Minkinos. These were $10. These lashes are big. We already know these lashes are big for me, but we are going to try them because I have been really trying to get into bigger lashes and more glam eye looks. So I just felt like it was worth it to try because I know these are normally really expensive. I can't wait to wear these. They don't give the magnetic adhesive for this one, so I'm hoping one of my other ones works, but we'll see because I'm going to probably try them in a video so you guys can see the struggle. Speaking of fitness, I have not found Tiger Balm in a long time, and I like these because they are small, so this was perfect to be able to put in my meat bag when I travel. Um, this is just really good for if you're really achy and you're having sore muscles or if you have something that feels really tight. It's a pain relieving ointment. It is super strong and it smells really strong. I don't care about the smell, but if that's something that might bother you, you don't want to smell like Ben Gay when you go to the gym, then don't get it. But I don't care about that. I'm in the gym to work, not to smell or attract <laughs> anybody. So I don't care about that, but yeah, this stuff is super strong. I usually try to use a napkin to put it on, or if I use my hands, I always go wash them immediately because if this gets in your eyes, it's gonna hurt. This might have been one of those things where I was just like, that's cute and it's on sale. This is the MAC Dazzle Shadow Extreme Single in Yes to Sequins. Y'all, I don't even buy singles. I feel like this was $9. And I think I bought this one because it kind of looked duochrome-ish. That is literally like the only reason why something can get my attention if it's not something I'm checking for. If it's extra sparkly or duochrome, yeah, I think that's what it was. So I don't know if I can get these colors to show. 
the shift. Let me just swatch it. That ain't no duochrome. You see how I got played? I think I want everything to be a duochrome so bad. I don't see. Oh, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. That's almost like a rose gold kind of shift. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. So that's what I thought I saw in the store. That's why I picked it up. And a shade like this, I feel like I could get away with wearing every day. I could wear it to the office and it's not going to be nothing crazy. I can wear what I want to the office, but you know, if you're trying to wear something more wearable, that's why I thought that one would be cute. I picked up a set of nails. I talk about this all the time. Anytime I can get nails on sale, I'm going to do it because I can literally wear a pair for about a week before I have to take them off. So I don't want to spend a lot of money on nails. I will pop them off in the gym if they are getting in the way of my workout. That is how much I don't care about nails when it comes to my workouts and needing to get my training done. So I'm not spending a lot of money on it and I like to change them up. These are the Goldfinger Ready to Wear Gel Manicure and this is their Gel Glam. This is the long length, I don't know. It just says GD18. I thought these were so pretty and I normally don't wear a lot of neutral shades but I feel like for this, even though I don't love gold, I don't know, just something about the ombre and all that good stuff made me feel like this would be super cute. These would probably get cut because that is, the ones I have on right now, I feel like are really long. These are, uh, which brand is this? Kiss Impress, I believe, um, one of their luxe ones, but I feel like this is super long. So this is even longer. So these are gonna get cut, but I like the design. Okay. This was an impulse I want to try, and I'm glad it's on sale. This is the Glossier Monochrome's Essential Eyeshadow Trio. I have never tried anything from this brand, and it was on sale for $10. Oh, I didn't tell y'all the price of my nails. The nails were, oh, it's not on here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I got these on Amazon. So, yeah, I think I got those on Amazon. Um, but the Glossier, this is the packaging. So it's a white tin, super cute. You know, looking at this now, I'm just kind of like, why Barbara? But honestly, I think this would be really cute for like an everyday throw on and go. And it has three different finishes in it, which also kind of intrigued me. So there's a matte, a satin, and then like a super kind of flaky chrome shade so this is the matte which that's really pretty this is the satin and then I swatched those too far away oh let me put this up here so this right here is the ooh see that is very pretty I hope you guys can see that but that's the one that's like super foiled kind of flaky I like this shade kind of like a bronze terracotta shade. So I think that's part of the reason why I was like, if I'm going to try this, then I'm going to pick something that I know was definitely wearable for me. So yeah. Tell me if you guys have tried this brand before. I have not, like I said, so I don't know anything about it. I have another set of lashes. This is the Miami Flare Lily Magnetic Lashes. So another pair of magnetic these were on sale for $10 as well. So I guess these are made like the standard Lily and the standard Mykonos, but they just have them in the magnetic form, which I can really appreciate because sometimes lash glue gets on my nerves. Magnetic gets on my nerves too. I don't know. It's like you got to wait the right amount of time and I feel like there's not that much wiggle room. And again, I know I just need to practice, but sometimes I don't feel like it. So yeah. I just wanted to try these because I know this brand and this style is really popular and this was my first time seeing it magnetic. Oh, and y'all ask me, and sometimes I forget, most of the time I forget to say, um, my lip combo today, I have on my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk 3 Intense. And then I have on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Praline, Praline, what do I say? Praline, Praline. I think I see praline. Yeah, praline, whatever. <laughs> um, the satin lipstick, love this shade. It's like a pinky brown. And then I topped it off with the Makeup by Mario Pro Volume Lip Gloss in Golden Nude. So that is what is on my lips today. 
Next, I picked up the Lip Bars Fresh Glow Bronzer and Blush Duo. I want to say I got I paid $5.99 for this and I didn't get this one today. This one's been sitting, but I did see these in the store again today. I feel like I used this in a video already. I'm about to see because I'll be able to tell if it's been used. Um, but I was intrigued by this because first of all, I love their packaging. I can't get this damn thing out of here. Yeah, I feel like that's why I remember using it because I couldn't get it out before. I'm about to tear this whole box. Oh, damn. Okay, I probably should have took it out from the top and then it might not have been that hard. I don't like why they put this on here like that. Jesus. I literally just tore this box completely apart. Um, Let's see if I have used this. I have not used this. I have one of these and I feel like I used it already. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe I bought it twice. So this is in the shade Just Got Paid and the bronzer is Direct Deposit and the blush is Shopping Spree. This is the bronzer. I feel like right now this is not going to do anything for me. I do have a tan. So yeah, but this blush, it is very shiny and very, very pretty. I'm going to swatch them. Yeah, that bronzer is not going to do anything, but this blush is giving me Milani, that rose one that I bought a while back that y'all saw that I loved. Yeah, see, that'll be almost like a face setting powder or like under eye setting powder. Oh, but that blush. For $5, I would have paid for the blush. So, yeah, definitely think that was worth it. Couple more things. I also picked up this Dr. Pawpaw Tinted Rich Mocha Lip Balm. I have seen these in just clear and to see this in a mocha shade, I was like, this is gonna be so pretty. What? Oh, so this says you can use it on your lips, your skin, and your, and your hair. And they show a picture on the back with a person putting this on their cheeks. I don't know that I would do that, especially if it would stay glossy, but it says for lips and cheeks. So let's see, because it looks literally like a lip gloss, just that standard. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that shade. It's on my finger ugly, but no, we're not putting it on our face. Oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. I thought I was just getting a plain old lip gloss with like a little bit of tint, but that has some pigment. This is reminding me, oh, I don't think I have anything this dewy in my collection. I'm gonna leave this on my hand because I wanna see if it dries down, but baby. She's going upstairs because this I could see. I'm going to put her in my purse. Last thing I picked up is a skincare item. This is the First Aid Beauty Blemish Patrol Pads. This was on clearance for $12. I hope that's not because it was like expired or something. Um, it is not open. So the lid is still on it. But these are, I bought these because... I had started breaking out a little bit on my chest and I was always look at like skincare videos and acne and acne treatments and acne scarring and all that. And one thing that was suggested was once you're done with your workouts that you should wipe off the areas where you sweat a lot. So I thought this would be good to put in my gym bag just to be able to wipe myself down afterwards so that I'm not getting any acne. I haven't had acne hardly at all since I did Accutane. I do not regret it. I would recommend it to anybody, but I'm always trying to be preventative. So these are probably gonna go in my gym bag. So now we move on to the big bags. The bags are big, one bag is big, the other one's small, but it, it, I'm excited about this stuff, like for real, for real. So <laughs> this was a, I've been wanting these, but I was not gonna pay full price. Glam Light Hershey Kisses. They came out with a set. I think there was four or five and I saw it when it came out and I was like, I want that. And I talked myself out of it. I'm proud of myself, but I found it. It's still in stores right now. And I only really, really wanted these two, 
the other ones I would have just been picking up to be greedy. So the first one, this is the special dark chocolate. This one has purples in it. First of all, look at this packaging. Like, could you, like, this is why I love Glam Light. Like everything they do is just so, I love the packaging. It's just so cute. And then, oh, y'all know I love my purples. Look at these shades. Like, yes. Complete look right here. Love those foiled shades, some really pigmented mattes. I don't want to swatch because it's going to take forever. The video feel like it's already going to be long. So this is not new. It's just now new to my collection. The other one I picked up was the Milk Chocolate Palette. I think this one, please don't be the one with the gold. No. Okay, good. Y'all, same packaging, but look at this color story. It is like a borderline. Oh, it's leaking. Why look wet? Interesting. This is a neutral palette, but it's not too warm. It's just neutral. It's not really cool toned, like kind of giving me Juvia's Place coffee or chocolates, just very compact. But this one comes with three shimmers and three mattes. So love the color story for it. Thought it would be a great everyday formula from everyday color story from this brand. And I love this brand's formula. So really happy to have these. Something else I will always pick up if I find it on sale is brow pencils, especially if it's the ones that I like. This is the Benefit? Yes, Benefit Brow Styler. This is in the shade number five, Warm Black Brown. This one is a pencil, waterproof wax pencil, 18 hour wear, and then a loose filling powder, powder with a precision angled tip. Now this I did not try before, but I know I like the Goof Proof Brow, which I think is kind of the same thing in terms of how the pencil looks. This actually may be even a little bigger, but so this is the pencil right here, and I am learning that this number five is a little dark for me, but that's okay because I just have to use a really light hand with it, but I don't know what this powder thing does. So this is what it looks like, and it is really just a little small, slightly slanted applicator. Oh, that's dark. Okay, let me put some on the other side. Oh, that is really dark. Okay, I'm about to mess up my brows. Hold on. Okay, so this is definitely a powder. Ooh, I kind of like this. It's just dark. It is very dark. Huh, okay, I like this. Interesting. It definitely darkened up my brows a little bit, which this is the end of the day, so my makeup might be kind of wearing a little bit, but I think I'm gonna like this. This might have to go upstairs too. This next thing. Okay, so I don't think I've seen these. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Plumping Lip Cream. So not the gloss, and I'm hoping it does not burn, but I got this one specifically. This was $6.99. I forgot to tell you all the prices. My Glam Light palettes were $10.99. I told you the lip bar. My brow product was $8.99. What else? Oh, and the Dr. Paw thing was $4, which yes, this is not gonna dry down. So it is definitely a glossy product that you would be putting on your face. And I'm gonna wipe this off before I get it everywhere. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. So yeah, this Buxom is $6.99. It was the shade that got me. And it honestly kind of reminds me of the Dr. Paul one. So this is in the shade Pumpkin Chai Latte, if I did not say that already. Oh, she hard to open, which is good because that means nobody touched it. Yep, she has not been used. But this is what the shade looks like right here. So as you can see, she is very dark. I've just been into more of lip glosses as opposed to like super matte lips. That's why I had to put something on top of this Anastasia Beverly Hills one because even though it said it was a matte, uh, satin, it still went on kind of matte and patchy, but once I blended it out, it was fine. But 
this smells like pumpkin so we love that y'all i'm about to replace like all the stuff that i keep in my purse because i want this to go in there we have another lip product because barbara has lost her mind actually what barbara needs to do is declutter some of her lip products because i have stuff that i have literally from when before I started filming three years ago, four years ago. And I know some of this stuff can go bad. Some of it I'm just not gonna wear. So I need to just go ahead and declutter. This is the MAC Powder Kiss Lip Color in Over the Taupe. I love these. These and then the, oh, what's the other name of it? Um, Topped with Brandy is the name of it. I can't, Retro Mats, I think is the name of it. But I don't know, it's just, anytime I find something in this shade, y'all, we don't have a problem because Barbara's nine time out of 10 gonna put it in her bag but that is a super super pretty like these are my everyday nudes so I just it just made sense to me to buy this because it was on sale for nine dollars and it's gonna get worn so you're probably gonna see a lip declutter soon because I have a lot of stuff and I think I just get intimidated by what I have because I'm like I don't feel like looking through all that but if you declutter you will only have stuff that you want and then you won't have that problem so that is next on my to-do list. Oh, okay. So I did get another um, Benefit Brow Styler. This is in Warm Deep Brown. So I got a lighter one. Happy about that. I do darker brows when I do more glam looks and then when I want something more natural. Like today, I did a lighter shade on my eyebrows. Last thing I picked up was some tweezers. These are by the brand Cala, C-A-L-A. These were $4. I was looking for tweezers for my wigs. Not even going to lie, because some of the ones that I have are absolute trash and it is too hard to pluck the hairlines if it's really flimsy. So hopefully these will be good. If not, I can take these upstairs and then the ones that I have upstairs that I know are good that I use for like my eyebrows and stuff, I'll bring those and do my wigs with that. So yeah, pretty inexpensive and I just bought the slanted ones. We have another product in here that I'm pretty sure I did not get from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. But I guess I just threw it in here because I was trying to like get everything together to film, but I've just kept adding to the pile. Yes, there's more stuff. Uh, this is the Even Wonder Lace Bond Holding Gel, and this says it is vitamin E infused. It's a holding gel to help with the lace fronts. I don't love using glue only because I don't keep my wigs on longer than like a day. I film, I take them off. Every once in a blue moon, I'll sleep in them. But the problem is when I wash my face and the lace starts lifting, I just take it off instead of trying to fix it. So I may try to change that up to get more wear out of them. But this was recommended by one of the wig bays that I watch. So here we are. I absolutely love when I find stuff on clearance at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because I know it's already on sale and then it's on sale even more. So I got these bins and these are just clear bins that I want to, all my lights, Lord, um, that I want to use to organize my makeup a little better. These were on sale for $13. The original price was 17. So it's a little bit of a deal, but these are bigger. They're kind of tall. So I'm hoping to use these in my big storage drawers with my Ikea sets to, I think I'm using for eyeshadow palettes. I'm hoping because I don't like how my palettes are just they're all together and I just kind of have them stuck in the back of the drawer and they're just kind of at a tilt because I don't have a way to stand them up. So I am very particular about how I store my makeup. I don't like laying things on top of each other where I can't see what's at the bottom. And then I also have my basket of shame, my whole drawer of shame of eyeshadow palettes I haven't used. That's what I might do with this. Um, but they're like literally laying on top of each other and I can't deal. So this is just to help store my makeup. We are not done because <laughs> we got this bag. This is the one that I picked up today. So we're going to run through this real quick. There's not a lot of stuff in this bag, but it's not stuff I normally show. So I've been every now and then I buy clothes, mainly tops because I wear the same pants. And I don't know, like, is that kind of this kind of stuff that y'all would want to see? I'm not, I don't think, maybe later might venture into like fashion stuff, but I don't know. Sometimes I find cute stuff and I think I want to show this because 
for my body type and my muscles, I can't wear anything that doesn't stretch. And I have to buy it a size bigger. Ooh, let me take this off before I get something on my clothes. I usually have to size up, especially on my shirts, because my shoulders and my back don't fit into what my waist can fit in. So, I don't know. I feel like when I find cute stuff, like I have a group of women that I talk to and we talk about lifting. We talk about just different hair stuff and, you know, skincare stuff. And we talk about how it's hard to find clothes. So I feel like I should share this because if any of y'all are watching, you know, maybe this will help. So this top actually, well, let me start with the shoes. I'm excited about these shoes because if you watch my last birthday haul in Houston, I found a pair of sandals that had a heel and I was excited about it. And so now your girl wants to buy some heels. I need to be stopped. I need to get rid of the five and six inch ones that I had before I got hurt. I'm never going to wear those again. I just need to do it and replace it with wearable stuff. So this first pair is by the brand Dolce Vita. And I found these in the clearance section. Y'all, these are so cute. And I feel like I've been seeing everybody post shoes like this and these have a chunky heel so they're not going to be as hard to walk in but i just thought these were cute and they feel comfortable and they were only 19 dollars. 19 dollars for these so definitely thought it was worth it i wear a size eight and these are called the hardy sandals i guess but this braided style is in so i think these will be perfect for the summer so i can stop wearing jordans with everything I also found a tan pair and this is by the same brand and these are called the Haley sandal. These were on sale for $24, but neutral pair, I can't stand. My OCD will kill me for holding up like that. Neutral pair, again, braided, super, super cute with the chunky heel. So these were 24 bucks. Yeah, $24. I don't know how much they regularly retail for. I don't care. I thought these were cute, definitely wearable. I walked around a little bit in the store with them. So tell me what y'all think. Are these cute? Like this is what everybody's wearing. I'm trying to update my style a little bit and stop dressing so, I don't dress frumpy, but I dress very conservative and very safe. I don't want to start dressing crazy. That's not going to happen, but just want to wear stuff a little more fashionable and a little more I don't know the word like just stuff that fits me better I guess is what I'm looking for okay so for the shirt let me back up a little bit so this is the shirt and I have a really strong feeling this will probably only be a work shirt because it is kind of big like I wear my shirts big though so but this will be more for work but I just I love the color of this I think it would be cute with those tan shoes and I loved the collar it kind of has a faux collar around the back but then there's nothing in the front. So I thought that was super cute. And this was only $12. Very stretchy, very comfortable. Looks like it's see-through, so I'll probably need to put a shirt on underneath it, but I'm okay with that. And then this next shirt I thought was so cute. Y'all know me and my olive green. I like the little ruffles on the sleeves. I have trouble wearing sleeveless shirts because the way my traps are made my bra strap slides down so anything like up in the neck halter I can't wear a regular bra and I hate wearing strapless bras if y'all have any recommendation for good strapless bras that don't slide down that don't make your boobs look like they're saggy please comment and let me know because that would save me I need to go get fitted but just let your girl know some good brands but anyway so this shirt is pretty cute I got this one in a small so you can see that it is a little more tapered at the waist and this was 20 bucks this is stuff I wear to work but I could also wear out so just thought it was cute I also picked up a pair of earrings I don't really wear jewelry a lot to be honest with y'all I wear them for my videos <laughs> because I know I need to and if I'm going out but other than that I keep my main studs in the back and that's it but I found these cute earrings and I know these are not real. I'm sure it's not any different than what people buy on Amazon, but these were on sale for $8 and they're silver plated with Austrian crystals. So they're a cute little set of small hoops. And you can see they look really blingy. I have bigger hoops with rhinestones or crystals or whatever is on them. These were only $8. And so I wanted a smaller pair and I was just, I thought these were a good buy to wear occasionally for the price 
I picked up another set of nails because I thought these were too cute. These are the Dashing Diva Glazed Donuts. These were $6. I love these. They look red, but because they have that glaze on them, they kind of almost give like a purple burgundy kind of vibe. I hope this color is showing, but I just love how shiny they are. And I love the shape of these. So $6, 30 nails. This was a yes. Okay, we got some fun stuff. Oh my goodness. Number one. I've been wanting to try this mascara. I almost picked it up at the, at the cosmetics company store when I went for my birthday and I put it back. This was $12, $13. This is the MAC Magnetic Extension 5mm Fiber Mascara. I don't know. I feel like I didn't hear a lot of people talk about this. I know there was a stack that came with like two things or something like that that people were really excited about. This is not it, but I still wanted to try this because I normally wear my tubing mascara, but sometimes, especially when I'm wearing falsies, I don't wanna wear that. And I know I have a lot of other mascaras. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what I wanted to try right now. So this was on my list and I'm glad I found it at Marshalls? Marshalls. <laughs> Next, I found this Urban Decay Plumping Shine Balm. Again, I've been more into balms and glosses on top of my lip liners instead of full out lipsticks. And I wear stuff like this when I go to the gym. I'm always put a lip color on because I've talked about, you know, the outline of my lips being dark and whatever, but I don't feel like I saw these. I don't really check. I'm not, I shouldn't say that. I don't check for Urban Decay, but I didn't see these in the store. But this, I thought this shade was so pretty and I don't think you can see it has little gold reflex in it but i'm about to put some of this on right now she is definitely a gloss like a balm yeah so this is just gonna give you some nice little shine yeah this is perfect for the gym it doesn't feel like it kind of feels lip oilish as opposed to like lip gloss so Love that this has a little more neutral kind of pink muted coral shade. And I don't think I have anything this color. So that also helped with the color that I chose. There were a few other shades, but this one was the one. There was a one that was kind of orange too, but my lips are plumping. Yes, I do feel a tingle. It just says it's formulated with hyaluronic acid. I do feel my lips tingling. So this is one of the plumper ones, but it's a cooling tingling versus that bur that burning tingling. So good, good, good. The last two things. Yes, I am that excited. Number one, Pat McGrath. Number two is Pat McGrath too. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. And this is in the shade Venusian Nude. I don't have this and I wasn't even sure if I had it, but I was gonna take it home to see if I had it. But I realized I didn't have it. One, I've never seen this packaging on top of any of my other ones. Yo. I don't have this. And I knew I didn't have it when I opened it and I saw the imprint on this. This is so friggin' pretty. Oh my God. Like this, it almost looks kind of like a rose gold. I don't want to mess it up. I'm trying to like swatch around the edges because yeah, I got to swatch this. Mm -mm. I don't know where this has been. I don't even remember hearing about it, but that is gorgeous. Oh, look at that shine. They had like four of them too. And y'all know me. I was like, I need to get a backup. Girl, you got Pat McGrath um, highlighters you don't even use right now. Don't you get no backup. Put that back and pick up this palette. Because <laughs> that is what I did. Okay, let's talk about it. I said I didn't want this. What I didn't want was to pay $80. It went on sale at Sephora for $50. I still didn't want to pay $50. Because I just felt like it was kind of plain, like there's no special shades. You know, the color store is cute, but then this was on sale for $34.99. It was at that moment that I knew I had to check to make sure none were swatched and then put it in my cart. 
and it was not. This is Celestial Nirvana. This is the collector in me. I'm not even going to lie because I was not going to buy this palette. But it's mine now. I am so excited. And you know what? Honestly, the price makes me more excited. I'm not even going to lie. So, yeah, I know y'all have seen this. And it's not even on Sephora's website anymore to be able to buy it on sale. But I just feel like this was the perfect way to cap off the end of my birthday shopping. I'm not sure when this video is going to be up. Today's April 5th. Um, I don't know when this video is going to be up. But, yeah, other than the shoes I want, they have a Travis Scott collaboration of Jordans that is coming out. I want them. I don't care how much I'm paying. I'm getting them. And that is the end of my birthday shopping. This watch, I also got a Samsung Galaxy 5, not the Pro, even though this thing is massive, was my other birthday big gift to myself and my perfumes. So that is it for this haul. I am really excited. If you can't tell by the smile on my face, I can't wait to go organize this stuff. And you will see some declutters coming up because don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. I love having a big collection as long as I have the space for it. Even if I don't, I'm going to find it to have a big collection. I'm decluttering because I want to get rid of stuff that I'm not using or I don't love. Stuff that I bought when I first got into makeup or when my skin tone was oily or when I was younger and liked colors, you know, whatever. Now that I'm at a different stage in my life, I'm older, I'm more mature, my preferences have changed. It's time to get rid of the old stuff instead of just hoarding it because I spent my money on it. So that is why I am decluttering. No other reason. I don't want to hear. You don't need all that. Why is he wasting that money? It's my money. I do what I want. Thanks for watching and thank you for not judging. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and let me know. Let me know about the bra, number one. <laughs> let me know if y'all have any of these products. Have y'all tried them? Do you check your TJ Maxx and Marshalls? How often? What kind of stuff do you find? I just love chatting with y'all, so I'd love to hear from you. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.